In this lesson, we'll take an introductory look at the Analyze an Argument essay. For this task, you're presented with an argument, and you must write a critical analysis of that argument. Specifically, you must critique how well the author's conclusion follows from the evidence. In other words, is the conclusion appropriate given the premises? Well, since analytical writing arguments are typically weak, the conclusion is never appropriate. Your job is to explain why it's not appropriate. Here's an example of a typical argument you'd see on test day. Here the author uses information about one musical group to make conclusions about how a different musical group can become more financially viable. In the instructions, you're directed to respond to the argument, and in your response, discuss what questions you need to ask to better evaluate the conclusion. Here's another example. In this argument, the author takes a handful of limited information and concludes that photographers will be more successful if they work in color rather than in black and white. Here the instructions tell you to respond to the argument and in your response examine the roles that assumptions play. Now it's important to note that all of the possible arguments that you will encounter on test day are publicly available on the GRE website. As of January 2013, there were 174 essay prompts for the argument essay. Now, this number may change in the future, but the test makers will continue to make these topics available. Now, with each argument, you're given a set of instructions that will direct your essay. In the first example we looked at, the instructions are right here. And in the second example, the instructions are here. Now on test day, the given argument will come with one of eight possible sets of instructions. Let's take a look at them. Now the good thing is that there are many similarities among these instructions. To begin, at the heart of all of them, we're directed to write an essay critiquing the argument. Each set of instructions merely directs the focus of that critique. For example, these six sets of instructions all ask us to essentially do the same thing and that is, identify the evidence needed to evaluate the author's conclusion and explain the role this evidence would play. Returning to all possible instructions, we can see that these instructions essentially direct you to identify assumptions and explain the role they play in the argument. Returning once again to all possible instructions, we can see that this last set of instructions essentially directs us to identify other possible explanations and discuss how they could be plausible. So really, each of the eight possible sets of instructions can be categorized as one of three types. In the future, we'll refer to these types as follows. Now, as an aside, it's useful to note that of the 174 publicly available essay prompts, the type A instructions account for 65% of all instructions, the type B instructions account for 30%, and type C accounts for 5%. Now, even though there seems to be three different types of instructions, our strategy for handling all argument essays will be the same. The only difference will be the emphasis we place on certain components. Our strategy is as follows. The first step is to identify which category of instructions appears with the argument. The next step is to deconstruct the argument by identifying and summarizing the given premises and the conclusion. From here, once we have a good understanding of the argument, we'll start generating discussion points. To this end, we'll begin listing flaws in the argument. Once we've identified three to five flaws, we'll choose two to four of them to work with. For each of these flaws, we'll identify the underlying assumption or assumptions, explain why the assumption is faulty, provide other possible explanations and or conclusions, and identify what extra information is needed to evaluate the argument. At this point, we're ready to write our essay with an emphasis on the points dictated by the category of instructions. Finally, once we've written the essay, we should proofread it. And that's a general overview of the steps to take when tackling the argument essay. In the next lesson, we'll look at techniques for identifying flaws, and after that, we'll examine the essential elements of a good essay template.